Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part 26 of my video series on real time family GPS tracker using Android Studio. Alright, guys, since I in my previous video I uh, told you that I will run the application, okay, and I will show you a demo. So, let's get started. So, first of all, let me remove all the uh, users from here, okay, and also from the authentication part. All right, in our uh, database, okay, in uh, storage, we also need to remove the whole folder from there. Okay, and I forgot to add. Okay, so if the if uh, the circle code is uh, not available in the database, so we need to print a message that this is not. Uh, I mean not present okay if database exists here all right in our else part we can say circle code not invalid all right so now let's let me first of all connect my phone Alright guys, so now let's run the app. Now our application is running, so let me sign out the user. Okay, let's run the app again. So now, first of all, we need to click on sign up button. Okay, so we will create account. Okay, I have entered my email address, and let's enter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And also we can say our own next okay choose an image so we need to select an image from there okay we will crop that and let's click on next here we have this unique circle code and now you need to click on register okay so now we the application is crashed let's see what where is the application crashed okay so here we uh, All right. So here, first of all, we can say user ID equal to how dot get okay. first of all, we need to initialize the user user and now let's 
run our code again and before that let's see if the values are inserted here or not okay the values are not inserted and let's see here yes we have this so we will remove that and we will try again all right let's try to run the app again now the application is running so i will click on okay again sign out okay and now we need to click on sign up let's create my account gmail.com click on next and we need to enter our password click next and now here we can say and let's select an image and now we need to click on next and now we click on register so guys as you can now see i have okay email sent for verification okay let's click on sign out and here we have received the email okay we will click on that you uh, url and now the email is successfully verified okay and now what we can do let's create another uh, so let's sign in and let's enter our password let's click on login and so now our login is successful all right guys so if i go to join circle okay so uh, i forgot to add the in, uh, intent so let's go down to our user location main activity and in here in join circle so here we can say intent intent user location main activity and join circle activity dot class start activity my intent all right so now let's run the app again okay guys so now the application is running if i click on join circle okay so here we have this pin view if i enter one five eight zero 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 a random number and if i click on submit so you can see circle code is invalid okay so let's try to create another account and after that we can see okay so first of all let's go down there click back and let's sign out and let's sign up for another account and this time i say i another email id you can always uh, send email if you have any question also one two three four five six seven let's click on next and here we can say user two okay and from there we can change our picture okay so now we will uh, we will also click on register so we have two accounts all right guys so here in our uh, join circle 
okay so i have got the email okay so our application is crashed let's see where it crashed okay so here we have the issue because the user is logged out okay and let's first of all verify our email so here we will click on the URL which uh, in the email to verify our email address okay and here you can see your now email has been verified okay guys so now let's sign in and if I click on login all right in now in our uh, database part okay so we have these two uh, users okay so now you can see we are logged in from this Harun Fazal at Outlook okay 652671 okay this is the uh, circle code okay so if Harun wants to join this account okay I mean this uh, user 2 wants to join this account so it has 641664 so what it can do so it can say that join a circle let's enter six four one six six five let's say okay let's enter a wrong let's enter uh, a wrong okay let's try to enter again six four one six six five and if i click on submit and now the circle code is invalid all right so now we if i enter six four one six six four and if i click on uh, submit still it says that it is invalid okay so because this is the code okay uh, let me change that so in here we can change here let's just write code all right now let's run that code uh, again I do a lot of mistakes <laughs> So now our application is running again so now let's try to run again join circle 641 what was the circle code 664 okay if i click on uh, submit so here you can see circle code joined successfully okay so here you can now see the circle members here okay so now this uh, user will have uh, a lot of circle members and they are will all be here okay so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye